Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more Persona 4 Golden. Uh, it's Saturday. Uh, it's sunny. I don't think I can talk to him yet. Vacation, huh? Should we make reservations now? Yes. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna sleep. I don't really care about earning money. Go to sleep? Yes. For some reason, you dreamed that Marie was chasing you. It was heart pounding, but your relationship with Marie has intensified. Chasing me like creepy chasing or like haha lovey dovey chasing? That is the question. I had a day off from school today. Will someone show up on the midnight channel? Wait, but I already saved Yukiko. Why would she sh Is it someone new? Hello, it's me, Chie. Do you have time to go inside the TV today? Now that Yukiko's with us, I think it might be good for her to get some experience being in that place. Just give us a call if you want to go. See ya! Um... I don't really want to explore the TV though because you can now watch other things besides for Silver Four Golden. Ah, the live concerts! That's cool. TV overlay. Except I'm not playing this on my Vita, I'm playing this on my PS Vita TV thing, so I'm using a Persona 4 controller. Not Persona 4 controller. <laughs> ah, PlayStation 4 controller. Um, so I don't have that touchpad that I can do. Um, I don't- see, I don't remember when I can meet all these social links. So I'm just gonna go exploring. Oh, quest. But I don't really care about helping you, so... Tough cookies. Whoa, I've never seen you before. Who the heck are you? Who in the world could have done such a... It's horrible. Too horrible. I never knew he was here! I've played this game a million times and never knew he showed up in the flood, in the riverbank. Whoa! Mind blown! It's Sunday, so I can't go to the. Yeah, Monday, Friday, or Saturday. Whoa! Um, let's see if Chie is in the North Districts. If she's not, I'm gonna hang out with- Ah, she is, but she don't want to hang out. Okay, well then. It's time to hang out with Marie. She's kinda cute, so I don't mind hanging out with her. Huh? I've been waiting for you. Hey, why don't you take me somewhere? I don't know the area. You know your way around here, right? I've only been here for less than a month, dude. But, yeah, sure. It's a good way for me to experience the town, too. Today, I want to go to a lively place. I want to go to Juness. I heard about that place. Okay, I don't know why you want to go to a super- It's like taking someone to Target or Walmart. Like, why? Hey. What happened just now? Time sale? Everyone was rushing to grab something called salad dressing? Salad dressing. Whatever it is, it must be worth fighting for. No, salad dressing is disgusting and sore salads. Hey, what a coincidence. What are you doing here? Who's this girl? She's so cute. Uh, she is Marie. Huh? Oh, yeah. She looks perplexed. Marie Chan, huh? Ooh, that's a nice name. Oh, I'm Chie Satanaka. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't know what to do with her. I know what this is. It shows a lot of stuff. Oh, you came to look at the TVs too? Yeah, I want one too. Still haven't replaced our old one. I, I don't want one. I don't, but... Maybe... Can you turn it to star scandals? Uh... Can you even watch it in that room? Why? Why the hell not? I mean, I didn't say that I even wanted to. Aw, she seems disappointed. <laughs> so how do you watch it? Electricity. You gotta plug it into what? an outlet. You gotta get cable. Or satellite. Are you one of those people who don't watch TV? That's right. There isn't one in the room. Really? Wow. You must have super strict parents. Girl, I don't think I could stand it. Life without kung fu movies. Brr. Oh, but there's no uh, eclectic lout wits in that room. It's kind of cute how she doesn't know words properly. I'll tell the nose to install one of those eclectic lout wits. There's nothing to do in there. But then how do you have lights in the limousine? Hey, wait! Marie-chan! 
You don't have electricity in your room? She doesn't live in a typical bedroom. Food courts. Phew! That was the good stuff. Satisfaction. I haven't had to stay here in a while, but it really isn't all that bad. <laughs> Didn't we just have it yesterday? Like, Yosuke brought us here. Marie-chan, you haven't eaten at all. You too! You gotta eat if you wanna grow up big and strong. Just kidding, haha! <laughs> you eat too fast. You're gonna be fat one day. Not with the amount of exercise she does. I didn't need to hear that. Uh, I'll go get us some drinks. Ooh, long tea sounds good. Say you want a Coke. You know you really want to. I don't like Coke, though. I don't like the fizzing. I don't like the burning feeling. There's a lot of people at this Juness place. Why? Don't they have anything else to do? If they have TVs. They should be watching them instead of wasting time. <laughs> ah, you're so funny! We want to encourage people to go outside. Mommy, I'm thirsty. I want a soda. You don't want a soda. You want a soda. No, he just had one. You'll have to wait. Want it, I want it! I said no. You'll bite your teeth. You really will. Disgusting. Like when you see those Coke videos where people stick coins in them and then after a day it's all like rotten and gone. Hey, do you think I was ever like that? Um... Yes. Everyone was a child at one point. I see. Of course, huh? I see. Aw oh, man, I'm just making her sad and sad sadder. I'm really not a good friend to her. I don't remember anything. I'm just walking. I had nowhere to go. I just ended up in that car. That Margaret told me to stay there. She also gave me the name Marie. It'd be hard to get around without a name. That must be rough, honestly. To have no memories, like even no family. I don't know. I can't remember. It was tough. That's okay. It's not like it's troubling me or anything. It clearly is! But I don't know why. But this town is familiar to me. Uh, do you remember anything else? I can't ask her if she lived here before because she clearly said she doesn't know anything. I don't know. Only thing I remember, or more like no, is that this is mine. What is yours? Oh yeah, the bamboo comb. I had this from the start. This is definitely mine. But, so what? This doesn't help anything. She confided in me. We ranked up now, but I feel like I have to hang out with her one more time before um, we reach number three. Which is whatever, I don't mind. You're searching for the truth, right? You should stop. There's no such thing. There is always a truth. How stupid. This conversation's boring. Let's talk about something else. There's only one version of the truth. Every other version is a mistruth. It's a quote from Cloud Atlas. I love that book and movie. Sorry to keep you waiting. The shop was busy, so I just ordered and came back here. they will bring it to us when it's ready. They were too busy to make drinks? What? Uh, is it me, or is the mood a bit heavy around here? Don't worry, you two. I ordered for all of us. The <laughs> long tea for everybody. Aw, oh, she's so nice and sweet. See ya. Oh, Chase, you're such a good girl. You're so honest and nice. I like honest people. Welcome home! Wow! Uh let's go sleep. Wait, I gotta check the midnight channel, right? But you dreamed that Cohen Daisuke were throwing you into the air. Cohen Daisuke! Ooh, man. I'm starting oh. to get dizzy. Good morning. It's raining. It's not going to last past nightfall, though. Every time it rained while I was over there, you must have been... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be gloomy. I know. Golden Week starts tomorrow, right? Do you have any plans? I have a family outing. I see. That must be tough. It's not tough. I like hanging out with family. But at least it's like we're going to have... Oh, it's tough because of the weather. It'd be nice if it could stay peaceful like this, but the mystery hasn't been solved yet. Perhaps we should visit over there once in a while, so we can become stronger. Don't worry, it's very easy mode, I know it needs to level grind. Uh, this dude. I'm hearing a lot of chatter about Golden Week, but don't forget that first and foremost, you're students! Your duty is to study! 
You don't have time to fool around, alright? Do not misunderstand what freedom means. It does not mean that you can live without taking responsibility. Even Pythagoras said, as long as laws are necessary for men, they are no longer fit for freedom. What? But we've always had laws. Actually, no. Making laws and governments and civilized like cities was a pretty recent thing, considering the history of the world. Next order of business. Midterms are coming up next week. The results will be posted to humiliate low-scoring losers. Wow, you're such a jerk. If you don't want to be shamed, study hard. It's that simple. If you do well, who knows? You may become a more popular Cretan. And you know, popular popularity leads to intimacy. On top of that, my reputation goes up. It's a women's situation, people. Like I said, study hard. Then how about you teach well? I didn't have to listen to that lecture. Boo! I think I'm just gonna skip all the dialogue for lectures and uh, classes from now on. It's just, they're not social links and I don't care about them. I can't hang out with Chie. It's Monday and it's raining, so I can't go to the part-time job. Oh, it's Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Gosh darn it. You're a quest, right? I honestly don't care about quests. Um, those are all the social links I have, right? Yeah. Um, oops, I went to my square. Go into town. I guess I could go into the TV, but I don't feel like it. I don't think Marie's gonna be out here because it's raining. Never hurts though. Let's try it out. Oh, he's gone. Welcome to the Velvet Room. We're missing someone. <laughs> Something is different. Marie is nowhere to be found. If you're looking for Marie, I sent her on an errand. She should be back soon. Uh, an errand? Oh, please don't be concerned. This errand is, of course, pertaining to those of us who resided in the Velvet Moon. I will never allow her to roam your world freely by herself. There's a piece of paper on the floor. Oh. oh. What is that? She must have dropped it. Haha. <laughs> seems the piece of paper belongs to Marie. You notice something written on it. Perhaps you should return it to her. Huh. Wait! No! Marie frantically snatches the paper away from you. Arr, arr. What, what are you doing? This? I mean, what are you doing? Did you look? Uh, no I didn't. Oh, I see. you didn't? Really? Then that's good. Marie looks very low lead. Just, just forget this happened. All of it. I'm hypnotizing you now. Sleep, sleep. You didn't see anything. Now, wake up! <laughs> I don't believe in hypnosis, so I don't think it will work on me. That is quite an interesting reaction. Is what is on the paper really that embarrassing? Welcome to the Velvet Room. Excuse us. Welcome, my butt. That was close. You didn't give me time to read the paper. Uh, check on dwellers. Marie. Huh? She can't leave. Okay. Well then, bye! leave. It's sad that it has to rain today. Um, I'm just gonna go home. Get an early night. Sleep for 12 hours. Uh, sleeping sounds so good. An Inaba Credit Union ATM to the north of town was destroyed today what the heck is by an earth, earth mover, mover, and all cash inside was stolen. That sucks. The vehicle, which was abandoned at the scene, had been reported stolen. But what by is an earth contractor. mover? Do they mean like one of those plows? Since the culprit was able to act quickly before the security guards arrived on the scene, the police have been useless. That's late. Oh no, Nanako. Don't be sad! Hello, Dad? Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, yeah. <gasps> yeah. She sounds so sad! Okay. Uh, Alright. You jerk, Dojima. Worst father of the year. He said to give you the phone. He can't take those days off. Oh no! Poor baby! Hello. Sorry about 
but I'm gonna be late tonight. You're not sure you sorry at all. Go to sleep. And about that time off on the fourth and the fifth, one of the younger guys got sick. So? And, well, that case he's handling, we can't just let it sit. No Looks excuses. Like Lies. Poor Nanako. I'm gonna rub it in your face. Sorry, Make you feel super you guilty. Um, how's Nanako holding up? She's depressed. You mind comforting her for me? Thanks. You're a jerk. All right, then. See ya. I understand your work is important, but family is important as well. Like, you work for the sake of your family. Uh. <laughs> There's a text on Monday next week. I don't care about tests. I wish I could go, like, see Nanako's room. But no, it only lets me go to my room. Go to sleep. Wait, if exams are next Monday, that means I can't hang out with any of my club members. Frack! And I have the day off from school? Gosh! I can't wait for when I have to juggle around like 10 different social links because then I'll have oh, like people to meet. And things to do. Oh, she's just watching TV. I really want to see like their full backyard. It looks interesting. Hey, Chia! Oh, cool, you're home. Hey, if you're free today, want to go somewhere? Yukiko's coming too. Yeah, let's go hang out. How about you, Nanako-chan? Want to come? Isn't it usually Yosuke um... that shows up? Come with us. Huh? Uh, In my I other come? previous playthroughs, it's always Yosuke who's like, Oh, hey, it's like, I'm free today, you wanna hang out? She had never came to my house. It's because I'm mean to Yosuke? What? It was on the clock and Yukiko was finished her work back in. Or maybe was it always Chia and I'm just misremembering things? Why'd you bring poor Nanako-chan to a place like this on Golden Week? Maybe it was always Chia. Where else is there to go? I love Juness. I love Target! Nanako-chan. But we were supposed to go on a real trip somewhere. Hmm. We were going to make boxed lunches. But then wow. your dad you cancels. Lunches, Nanako chan. <laughs> oh, so you're the family cook? Pretty. Hell awesome. no. Big, big bro. Yes, I'm your big Whoa, brother. You well, you do seem to be great with your hands. Uh, uh, never mind. What are you trying to say, Yosuke? I'm a pretty good cook too, you know. Probably. If you'd asked, I would have whipped up. You don't need lunches. to be a good cook. <laughs> Cooking's yeah. overrated. Uh, let me think about no. I like baking though. What baking is fun. And then you get to eat all the stuff afterwards. Oh, and then you save some more for later, like brownies my, and chocolate chip cookies. Too oh, much? So and hey, I never good. said I cooked. And banana bread. I have this weird feeling <sighs> banana bread. like I'd win anyway. <laughs> I can understand. Oh, that. Yukiko, you're so fancy and stylish. Yukiko! I wonder if they just recorded no, her say Yukiko once and they just like drag it out. I bet we'll make something Yukiko. that ranks with your mom's cooking, Nanako-chan. I don't have a mom. She doesn't have she a mother. In an accident. Hey, Yosuke. I mean, it's not like I, he didn't know. I see. Um, so it's a honest mistake to make. Sorry, I didn't know. Okay. Even if I don't have Aww, a mom, she still loves her dad, dad so much. Of course she would. He's and her now only I have family. A too. <gasps> and I'm having you a have lot of fun me, today. Nanako. I love Juness. I love you. Y yeah. That's good. <laughs> we'll play with you anytime you want, Nanako chan. Yes. I will. Yeah, we should hang out more often. <gasps> Everyone's being so nice to her. Come on, Nanako chan. You guys are the best. Okay. Yay! Does that mean I can start her social link soon? She's a strong girl. Can I start it today? Yeah. She makes me feel like I'm the little kid here. 
You are, okay. Chia. I'm gonna go get something for Nanako-chan, too! Yes, everyone, spoil her rotten. Just splurge all your money on her. Do you want something, too? I'll go with you. <gasps> it already started! Yes! Oh, Nanako. Every chance I am get, I'm just gonna hang out with Nanako. And in real life, I like little kids, too. So it's not like... whatever. Well, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. It's just, I'm so, so excited. Can She's so adorable. Takoyaki? She's probably one of the main reasons why I got Persona 4 dancing. Uh, because she's a character that you can dance as. And I was just like, heck yes! Adorable cutie. Of course I'm gonna hang out with her. I mean, dance as her. But some, some of her songs are hard. I had a dream that you and Yosuke were wearing luchador masks and rustling. That sounds... interesting? Say it's nature day, so I have to day off from school. I hope it doesn't rain at night. Oh, it's Wednesday, so I can't go to the part-time job. Who is it? Hey, it's me. This might be kind of weird to ask after we hung out yesterday, but do you want to hang out again today? See if I can find someone else to come along with us. Uh... Not sure? Why don't you bring Nanako-chan with you? Let's all hang out together. Okay, if it was just gonna be me and him hanging out one-on-one, -on -one, I would've been like, Arr. but then he said, I'll see if I could bring the others. So if it's a group thing, I don't mind. Nanako-chan sure loves this place. <laughs> First thing out of her mouth when I asked where she wanted to go was Judas! Who could blame her? This place has everything. It's like a storehouse of magic. I can see why she likes it. Anyways, isn't she cute? <laughs> I have a younger sister too. I wish she was cute like Nanako chan. She's adorable. I'm not cute. <gasps> Aww. Oh, did I hurt your feelings? Huh. Don't worry, you're not cute. <laughs> huh? That's going kind of far. Hey, 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 hey! Are she stupid or something? Uh that's the Daisuke I know. Cause he just seems to be the type of person who's just like this is my honest thought of you. I'm not gonna, like, butter you up or, you know, be extremely harsh, but just... Whatever. <sighs> I don't think he is. Big bro! That TV is huge! I feel like if I watch sports on a TV like this, I get sucked into the screen. Guess who actually does get sucked into the screen? Come on, like that could happen. I promise this to be an entertaining day! Oh, I didn't take out a, a Justice Persona. I'll do that tomorrow. Because I don't think I can hang out with Nanako tonight, can I? No, I cannot. So, I shall go to sleep again. I do like that this game has nice, funky music to dance along with. Yeah, no plans today. Where am I gonna- What? Somewhere I don't usually go. Uh, I haven't gone to the station in a while. Am I gonna meet someone? Nothing happens, right? No one is around. Uh, go somewhere else. Okay. I'm gonna go Do I start Hermit now then? No, it's empty. Dusty Shrine doesn't seem to be well maintained. I decided to go home. Oh no, I do start the hermit! Nice! A mysterious fox suddenly appears before you! Does it live at the shrine? The fox is staring at you. You notice an Emma plaque in its mouth. The mysterious fox nudges the Emma into your hand. It reads, Please help Grandpa's legs get better. The Emma has someone's wish written on it. Why did the fox give this to you? Upon closer inspection, you notice an unusually shaped leaf stuck on the back of the Emma. You don't recognize this leaf from the local plant life. This is also the work of the mysterious fox. I do want to do 
his social link so that I get discount on healing when I go into dungeons. Oh, not every day you see others like you around here. Nobody lives here anymore. I come by to tidy things up once in a while, but lately my legs are so achy, I just can't do it. I've been trying to get this place up to snuff, but there just isn't enough money to go around. Well, I suppose I'll pay my respects. My legs don't heal, I can't maintain the shrine. That, and I won't be able to visit Keita anymore. He's my grandson, you know. You wonder if this, it could be the same Keita who wrote the Emma. The Emma said, please help Grandpa's legs get better. Hmm? What's that you got in your hand there? Could it be? That leaf! That's it! Way back when, my grandmother always used to say a leaf shaped like that was the best kind of ache remedy out there. Ah, oh, what memories. But how'd you get your hands on this? I didn't think you could find those in the mountains anymore. Please, young man, can I trouble you to spare me that leaf? I gave the leaf. <laughs> Ooh, this is it! This is it! Now, let's see here. The old man stuck the leaf onto his leg. Ooh, I can feel it! It's working! Amazing! The pain I've been feeling for who, who knows how long. It just up and vanished. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why, I feel better than I have in years! You really helped me out, young man. I'm so grateful. Now I can go visit my grandson. I better pay thanks to the shrine for bringing us together like this. Dang, he's just zooming out. Not only did it heal his aches, but it even restored his vitality. Okay, so this box wants me to fill quests for 10 people. He just wants all the money to keep the shrine up. I will help you, dude. Even though you look kind of scary with all those scars on you. Yay, he gave me healing items. Yep. The fox says yep. Is there something it wants from you? Uh, he's showing me a pile of leaves. <laughs> That's how we get friendships to start. Here's a pile of leaves. Be my friend. I don't need to carry around a persona for him because it's automatic once I do the quest, so... I just need to pick up a, a justice. Woo! Where does it find such amazing leaves? You reflect on how useful it would be to have this kind of hope while searching on the other side. How would you know that the fox can go to the TV world, though? Does it understand your thoughts? He seems to. Gestures towards the box. I wonder if that's what foxes really sound like. Okay, so that's all I had to do. Am I gonna meet someone else? It's getting late. You decide to go home. Why are you zooming out like that? You're making me dizzy. Oh, not a call. The prime suspect in yesterday's ATM robbery in northern Inaba was arrested earlier today. Huzzah! The alleged thief is Pomena Sushin, a 26-year-old former employee Whoa. of the company. That is a weird name I've vehicle. never seen before. According to the police investigation, Pomena Sushin was... Is it a, a typo? Ugh. How many days is he going to call in sick? These rookies lately sure I bet the are. rookie really wasn't sick. He was just pretending to be sick so that he could go on a long vacation with whoever he wanted to go with. Like Monica. his girlfriend, his friends, I'm sorry I broke family. Again. Curse you. Oh, um, my big bro and his friends played with me instead. <gasps> I'm your big bro. I see. Thanks. You're welcome. I know how to be oh, a responsible a caretaker of a child. Oops, I accidentally pressed X to quit. <laughs> Good eye. Well, today is Children's Day. It is Children's Day. So I brought you a present. Presents! Yay! <laughs> Ooh, a t-shirt! Give me money instead! <laughs> it took me a while to decide what to get you. It you has like it? a platypus on it. Except you've never seen Nanako wear this, so maybe she secretly hates it. I got you one too. Not that you're still a child or anything, but fair is fair. Hey, if I still have to live under someone's roof under guardianship, I'm a child. 
It's a swimsuit. Why would you get me a swimsuit? Don't mention it. How would you even know my size? That's I thought you might creepy. need one too. Well then, let's eat. Take us out to a fancy okay. restaurant. We deserve that. Dang. That's a lot of side dishes. Uh, but I want soup. You wanna hang out? <laughs> it sure has a platypus on it. Doesn't that look funny? It does. Can I hang out with you yet? Which is right in town. I will wear that, sir. <sighs> Let's go sleep. And then tests starting Monday. Maybe I'll end this recording after tests end. Yo! Yo, fix your bike, please. Damn it, I just fixed this thing. It's making squeaking sounds again. I just remarked again. that he needs to fix his bike. Um... Maybe you need a new one. Huh? I wouldn't say it's karma, because, oh, yeah. like, what bad thing did he do? Hey, by the way, I'm sorry about the other day. You know, about what I said to Nanako-chan. Dude, it's okay. After we hanging didn't out know. with Nanako-chan, I feel even stronger that we have to solve this case. Why? Uh, thanks. For your thoughts, yeah. anyway. Let's I don't know what else to respond to that. <laughs> you know, Chie and Yukiko seem different lately. They're a lot closer. Of course, they're best oh, friends yeah, forever. I was just curious, but are you? I never mind. You know, if we keep chatting, we're gonna be late. Am I what? Am I into one of the girls? Because I am. School's such a chore. I'm into all the girls. And now my bike's messed up too. The roads are much wider here than in the city, so I keep speeding. I guess that did it. That shouldn't affect your bike too much. Oh, well, Maybe you just got a crappy I get my motorcycle bike. license, I'll just have to walk. Dang, getting motorcycle licenses when you're under 18 in Japan? It's crazy. I would never ride a motorcycle, though. I want a moped, though. Yosuke! Anyone else? Please? Some yes, Chie. Bye, Yosuke. I'm hanging out with Chie! But first, I'm gonna stop by, um... Velvet room to pick up a justice persona. Oh, why do the holidays have to end so fast? Exactly. I wish I had more time off sometimes. I listened in on the housewives gossiping at Juness, but it doesn't seem like anything happened. That's good. And news. I haven't heard anything about someone disappearing suddenly either. You think Yukiko could have been the last of the victims? Not. I doubt this is over. Why? Because the game mm. must go on. I don't know. But we shouldn't relax as long as the culprit remains at large. Exactly. I wonder, will someone show up on TV again if it rains? If we only knew a little Is more gonna about rain on like Monday or something? Eh, it's no good fretting over it now. If someone does show up on the Midnight Channel, then we'll deal with it. Exactly. It's supposed to start raining soon, but I hope this get more next week. suspects. I mean, get more victims, and then you can see you how know, they're related. Midterms. Midterms. Uh, you had to go and bring that up. I don't want to think about it. Their midterms are interesting. It's like school <sighs> just started a month ago, and they already have midterms. But that's probably because hey, they Yosuke, have three different um, have Yukiko trimesters. Go over some of the with you. Hmm? Oh, that's right. Yukiko's ranked at the top on every exam. Maybe I should ask her for some private lessons. Private lessons. <laughs> private lessons. Huh? What's wrong? Why would you just outright slap Ow, what him? What was that for? I'm just asking you to help me study. Dang. Oh, I'm sorry. You were talking about studying. What the heck did you think he was talking about? I thought it might have been an off-color joke. Arian has had some strange... But then why did you have to go ahead and slap him? You couldn't tell him, you like, hey, that makes joke, me uncomfortable. Stop. Yeah. But maybe that's a good reaction for girls to have, like, hey, that's terrible, Jeez. just I'm showing you my dislike and my uncomfortableness now, a lot, so that you don't keep talking about it. Thing. I don't know. Well, what did I do? It wasn't her fault. Uh, you're the one who made it sound creepy and wrong. Private lessons, huh? Actually, yeah, why would it only be private? We should have a group study session. But it's mostly my fault? 
Yeah, you should have called it a study session. Dummy. I should start heading home. Peace out, Yukiko. I should start heading home too. Must have ended. Oh, I can um I can do the lady now. I don't remember what social what social link arcana it was. But first, I must pick up a justice. Oh yeah, I should also upgrade equipment for Yukiko since she joined me. Again, the same piece of paper. Something is different. She's not here. Something different. Listen to my voice. My shadow. Oh, the Bell music is a music box version of Velvet Moon. Pouring my blood into my words. Yelling at the very edge of the world. Ew. Blood into your words. I am the little mermaid. Unable to return. The little mermaid. Faded to foam. The little mermaid. Wow. That is interesting. Sense of poetry is difficult to comment on. It really is. Wow. Ah! Did you read it? You read it, didn't you? I said no. It's not like that. It's uh, it's not a poem. Yeah, I'm yelling at the edge of the world. That is that this is not a poem. I don't know what I'm saying. Words are just coming out. I stupid. I hate you, jerk. I can't believe this. Don't read my things. She flushes furiously. Why was it on the floor? I don't get it. I wonder why. Uh, check compendium. View compendium. Justice. I honestly don't think I need all these super strong persona, but I'll just take it out anyway. I think later on I just won't care which persona I take out. As long as I have Alice, man, I'm good. Yes! Daycare center! I wanted to keep these sessions shorter, but with Persona, I feel like if I don't make them long, I'm never gonna finish this game, so these are gonna be longer. You were introduced to the children as an assistant caretaker. The children are extremely interested in you. Mister, do you have a girlfriend? Don't ask him that, you creep. Let's play tag, mister. You're it. They're so full of energy. Understanding has increased. There's one boy remaining. It seems his guardian hasn't come to pick him up. How are things? Has everyone been picked up? Looks like Yutaku is still here. It's always like this though. Why do you come late to pick him up, lady? Oh, you kun I'm sorry I'm late. Whatever. Are you one of the supervisors? I see. Thanks I'm for sure. taking care of him. I'm sure Yukun will cause you trouble again, but please take care of him. Yuta Minami. He's full of energy during his play sessions. Maybe too much energy. But once she arrives, he's a totally different kid. She's a stepmother, so I guess it can't be helped. Yuta's father got remarried to that woman you just met. I heard she's from the city. I really don't know what she's thinking. Perhaps that's why Yuta Kun is a troublemaker at school, too. The other day, he. I don't care about gossip. I hate listening to gossip. Ah, oh, I need to meet her one more time before we actually start our link. Welcome back. Naruko, talk to me! No, Naruko, talk to me. Don't you want to talk to me? Uh, talk. Oh, I actually am. Okay, well, I guess I'm starting Hierophant then. Hmm. We haven't had time to talk like this since you got here, huh? Doshima desperately casting about for a topic to discuss. Well, well how's school? Uh, that's fine. That's fine. I see. That's good to hear. Your school days will be over before you know it. Make sure you have fun while you can. Doshima is nodding to himself. What else? Oh yeah, how about your friends? Looks like you've made plenty of them. Doshima's scowling. Why are you scowling? It's a good thing I made friends. I'm not saying who you can and can't hang out with, but... 
You know what I'm talking about, right? No. <laughs> are you being straight with me? I can't tell if you're playing dumb or if you really are that dense. How about you just say it straight out then, huh? For some reason, wherever there's an incident, there you are. We shouldn't have to consider this, but the killings began around the time you came to town. That's not my fault. I'm not the one killing them. My job is all about eliminating the random element. I look only at the facts. If you keep getting caught up in my job, then... What's wrong? Your dad is a jerk! That's what's wrong. They throw them into anything bad. I know. I didn't mean it like that. It sounds like that you weren't playing that, though. But you're bullying him. He is, not a go beat him up. I'm not bullying him. We we're just having a little talk. It's getting late. Go to sleep. Okay. Sheesh. She's really taking a shine to you. Because I'm actually home when she is and I spend time with her. Look, just don't get yourself involved with anything dangerous. As long as you're safe, everything's fine. Your parents didn't ask me to raise your grades or anything. Because I'm already a genius. He's genuinely worried though, so I guess I can't fault him. But yeah, even in my own life, I feel more comfortable with aunts than I do with uncles. But maybe boys have easier times with uncles? I don't know. Well, let's see how this unfolds. Things here might be a little different from what you're used to, but this is a good town. Though it's a little dangerous right now at the, at the moment. Now then, it's about time for you to turn in. Get some sleep. Night. Night. Yo, I don't sleep at the same time as Nanako. But sleeping that early would be awesome. I overhear students talking. Are you talking about midterms on Monday? It's, yep, midterms start next Monday. Um, I don't care about these. Basically saying, get good grades so that your social stats go up. Mine are already maxed, so I don't care. Mm. It's creepy how he has a puppet of himself right on his hand. Uh, what about me? Do you know how Soseki Natsume translates the English phrase I love you into Japanese? This is the only one I remember because it was just so weird. The moon is beautiful, isn't it? But how? The person who translated it as I could die was Shime Futabate. Okay. Translated from Russian, not English. There wasn't the same direct expression of love that we have now, so they had to get creative. Okay. Yeah, sometimes I try to read Japanese literature, like translations of it, and it's just like so roundabout way of saying it, but they make it sound so picturesque, really descriptive. Whoa, it flashed. Hey Chie, I bought you a new copy of that Trial of the Dragon flick. It he bought it to replace your old one. 980 yen. If I knew then, I'd just replaced it instead of buying you grilled steak. Oh, thunderstorm. This is getting closer. Huh? What are you, scared of a little lightning? Lightning is dangerous, dude. Quiet, you! I'd be a goner if even one of those things hit me. Most people would. Ah! She's like Riku from <laughs> Final Fantasy X. Too much. Both Come on, scared shouldn't of thunder. Like this help with your kung fu training? A bolt of lightning would hit and it'd give you the inspiration for a new move. There was a scene like that in your DVD, wasn't there? Yosuke, you're being so insensitive. You jerk! You don't even care how I feel! If lightning has You'll... to strike someone, let it be this! Exactly. No tact at all. Huh? Is this a blackout? That's what you get for saying that stuff, Chie. Looks like I better hurry up and head to work. Depending on how produce sells today, I might get a little bonus. Oh man, I really week. wanted to end this after this uh, midterms, but away. this episode's getting my best really long. Save up for a motorcycle. So I'm gonna have to end it after this conversation, I think. It's from my manager. You can't Hello? work. There's a blackout there too. Uh, Yosuke Kun, um, uh, some of the power in the store is out after that lightning strike. No hey, one's. Could you come in early today? All the refrigerated shelves. Oh have no, he running. does still have to work. It's looking like we'll have to close up the produce section early today. Uh huh. Wait, what? But my pay. Anyway, I need you here we'll to help get paid. You I'm just won't get you. extra. Goodbye. Wait. 
That's what you get. This is why you should be nice and kind to other people. What are you looking at me for? Uh, why did because this have to happen? you have terrible situations happen to you too. Hey, Yukiko, can we just go home? I'm surprised you haven't gone home already. Chie, do you know this story? Oh my gosh! Please just go home. Homework, so she snuck into school in the middle of the night. I don't want to listen to this she anymore. She suddenly needed to use the bathroom. She ventured into the girls' room where all the lights were off. No one should have been there. But in the mirror, ghost stories. Hold it right there. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's a ghost story. I thought you liked them. No. Yeah, but why tell it now? Because it's the perfect atmosphere for one. She's on the verge of tears. What should you do? Uh, tell her another ghost story. I hate ghost stories. I hate freaking people out and psyching them out. So I'm just gonna comfort her. Thanks. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad I'm here too, Aren't but I really want to go home. Back home uh, are you making fun of me? How about we all just go home and well, stop yeah, this useless conversation, out, please? Blame me? Oh, the power's back! Come on, Yukiko, let's go home! Yes, please, just go. Let me end the episode. Chi and Yukiko leave in a hurry. Classes have ended, and it's Saturday, so there's nothing I can do, so I'm just going to end this episode here. Uh, next time I start up, it'll be Sunday. Maybe I'll have someone to hang out with. Maybe not, but anyways, midterms next time. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Stay toasty.